Ladies and gentlemen, this is the XKO 41 co-main event of the evening. This fight is scheduled for three rounds in the XKO middleweight division. This fight is brought to you by Next Bank. And now, introducing first, fighting out of the Next Bank blue corner. He's a boxer and stands 5 feet 11 inches tall and weighed in at 189 and a half pounds. Bringing to the cage five victories, two defeats. Representing the War Room, Guy Metzger's Combat Sports Club. Fighting out of Dallas, Texas, Alfredo Leha. And his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the Jim Ross Red Corner. He's a Muay Thai practitioner, boxing and wrestling. He stands six feet, one inch tall, and weighed in at 184 pounds. He brings to the cage three victories, one defeat, representing the Strike Kings, fighting at a Cobra's Cove, Texas, John Oven, the Samoan Savage Party. Your referee, Seth Fuller. Guys, bring it in. You got your instructions in the dressing room? Obey my commands at all time. Fight when I say fight. Stop when I say stop. Most importantly, intelligently defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Go to your corners. Come out fighting. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Kevin the Trailblazer Holland. I'm Antonio Perkins. Kono. This is the co-main event of the evening. Three rounds. Jonathan, the Samoan Savage Pati, taking on Alfredo Leja. They had words at the weigh-ins yesterday, and now it is time to go to work. You know what, man? Uh, I hate to do this, but... Uh, I don't even know his name. I didn't do enough studying, but I know he's from Strike Kings, and I really, really like Strike Kings. But if I'm not mistaken, I think Potty just called me out, and um, I know that I'm on a different level now. So unless he finishes Alfredo Laser amount in the same amount of time that I did, that call out's irrelevant. But one thing I do know is if Alfredo touches you, he leaves whelps on even a dark man's body. So he is hard. So he'll hit you and make you bleed and bruise if your coffee being hey, black. Man, he will make you purple if your coffee being black. That boy Alfredo <laughs> hits hard. Talking about Jonathan, the Samoan Savage Pati, 27 years old, six foot, middleweight. Cobra's Cove is where he resides. Seven and zero as an amateur, three and one as a professional record, representing the Strike Kings. He's a Muay Thai practitioner, wrestler, boxing, and jujitsu is his game. He's a stand-up fighter. He said it's truly unorthodox. You have to wait 
and watch to see it. Well, he said, with God, all things are possible. Right now, his family is here. Eyes are on Pati as and, he is fighting Alfredo Leja. And Alfredo Leja is, is 35 years old. He's 5'11", fights at 185 pounds, used to fight at 205 and also fought at heavyweight. The guy's from Dallas, Texas, um, fought in Mexico several times. He was 10-1 and one as an amateur. If I'm not mistaken, he had a boxing record that we don't even have on here. That's uh, because it was that good. It was that good. He's 5-2 and two as a professional. Uh, one of his losses coming to the, the greatest middleweight to ever grace Texas. And uh, Alfredo Leja trains at the War Room and Guy's Megner, which is a great place to do jiu-jitsu. Yeah, I'll tell you right now, you work with Guy Mexico, you will come out of there very versatile in all forms. And you know what? It's crazy because I would like to see him even use some of his takedowns. Alfredo hits hard. Um, like he says, he's KO'd all his opponents that he's ever beat. And, and some of those even came in the third round after taking a beating for two. And that's guy the guy hits hard, no matter both, what round it is. Both these fighters smiling. Wow, what a kick. What a kick from uh, Patty. Now, I'll tell you right now, when it comes to middleweights, this is the type of brawl that you want to see. You yes. being the middleweight champion at XKO, I wish that we had a tournament, a tournament style to have here. You face an opponent, the two face each other. This would be a hell of a night. I, I would I would enjoy a night like this, man. These two guys right here, man, uh, fought one uh, first time even seeing the other fight. But uh, it, it's, it looks like a good fight, man. Like I said, Strike Kings, they got great striking. They move well. And uh, this, is a fan, this is a fantastic fight. Look like both of these guys possess some power. You know, I tell you, you know, you, you're watching Pati, and I have to say, some of his movements just all over the place, angles. Kevin, I think that that would be a great fight with you. You guys would be moving all around the cage. You I'll, know, the guy, the guy is fascinating. The you know, guy, for I his like weight, he's fighting. Yeah. For, you know, that I, you hardly see too many middleweights that move like you do, or move like Alfredo, or move like Pati. And I tell you, you guys are changing the game for this weight class. Yeah. You know what? They're, we're all changing the weight, the game. You know what we don't have here? We don't have the reach. Oh. Wow. Pati has a chin to be able to take some shots like that from Alfredo. Now, you know, he doesn't want to do that too often, though. He wants to pick his hands up and pick his shots a little smarter. Uh, I would like to see him go back to using his footwork instead of standing in front of Alfredo Leja. That's not a safe game plan. That's the one thing about Alfredo Leja. He, like you said, he can weather the storm, and then he's just as dangerous in the third, the last minute, than he was the first. Exactly. The guy hits hard, man. But but he's no joke, man. Ooh. The guy seems to have a chin. He seems to be eating these at ease. He doesn't seem to be bothered. He's smiling while taking big shots. That's beastie. Now, when you face your opponent and you you feel the brunt of his strength, you know what you can take, you know what you have to watch out for. Is Mati saying that Alfred's strength is not matched with his? I think or... that's what he's saying. I think that's what he's saying. I think he's saying Alfredo's strength does not bother him. Now, we all know that people have been put to sleep and woken up the next day. And what happened? Well, you fought Alfredo and you lost. Yeah. And you know what? This round is a very crazy round. A lot of back and forth. Who do you have winning this round? Oh, I'll tell you right now. It's back and forth. It's it's a draw on my books. The last 10 seconds, I, I would say, have to make the round. Yeah. And Alfredo with the pressure. Yeah, there you go. It, it, it can make a difference well, in the judge's well, eyes. Well, here's the thing is that, yes, Pati is shrugging it off all the, all the hits. But here's the thing. In the judge's eyes, Alfredo's he's, making contact. And he's still getting hit. You cannot be getting hit. You know, in the judge's eyes, as a fighter, it's hard to think about what's in the judge's eyes because you're thinking about what's in your eyes. Right. But you, you have to think about the judges because you never know when the fight's going to go to decision. Well, and that's the thing is that, like you're saying, okay, it's not hurting Pati, but it's hurting the points yes. against you. Uh, yes. So, and, and, and that's great. I'm glad that he's not taking any damage. Alfredo is winning that round. I would like to see who comes out fresher in the second round. Right. And I, I, I think cardio is going to make a difference in this fight. Well, I think cardio that, and four pressure. Right, and I think that Pati, I think we're going to see more pressure moving forward on Pati. I think he was just really testing out Alfredo to see really what he's made out of. And see how hard he hit. I think that was a good, a, a, a good round to test and see how hard Alfredo truly hits. One thing Pati cannot do is get on his heels. He has to keep moving. He has to stay on his toes. Being on your heels against a guy who hits hard is, is uh, 
not good. It's, it leaves more chances to get hit. <laughs> Here we are, round two, XKO 41, co-main event of the evening. Three rounds, five minutes apiece. As we look at the Swole Clock time clock, great timepiece. You need to go to swoleclock.com to get your timepiece. One of the best in the world. I'm here joined, commentating. Scott Groff is not with us this evening. But I tell you, we, he is deeply missed. He will join us next time. I didn't, see, I, didn't see, I didn't see a growing strike on that one. Um, but I was looking at the swole the clock on the side, and if you know how their bling is, then you can easily get distracted. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You know, I'll tell you, you know, Alfredo Leja is one of those fighters you want to get in with that will bring the best out of you. He won't play dead. He won't lie down. You have to beat him to death. And he just brings the best out of you as a fighter. Would you agree? Yeah. Yeah, I, I would definitely agree. Uh, fighting Alfredo, you have to be on your P's and Q's. Because if you're not, you never know when you're going to go to bed. Well, you know, in this middleweight division also, he doesn't get injured very often to the point where he takes long layoffs. Yeah. He stays relatively healthy. And I tell you, it's great to see that because he doesn't take much damage. He can stay in this career for quite some time. And Bati, I'll tell you, Bati, man, he is look, looking fresh. Fresh. The Samoan warrior is unfazed going into round two. He may not be scoring as many points in the round one, but I'll tell you right now, when he wants to unleash, the fight is all his. Yeah, but sitting here waiting and, and letting Alfredo uh, rack up more and more points as the round goes on, it's not good. Here we are two minutes into this round, and uh, it's been back and forth, but the majority of the pressure and the big shots have been louded by Alfredo. But here we go. We got some big knees coming in on the opposite end here. Oh, and see, now what this, oh, 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 oh Alfredo is he rocked, rocked out. Oh, my goodness. Alfredo is dead Alfredo, rocked. Alfredo oh, is out. Oh. Ooh. What a finish. Alfredo knew it. Alfredo knew it. He said, yeah, I got rocked. The thing is, Alfredo took the shots. He took the shots. Right now, Bati is telling Kevin Holland, I want to face you if I could. Calling me out? Calling out Kevin the Trailblazer Holly. Are you calling me out? Are you calling me out? Are you calling me out? And I'll tell you, Pati calling out Kevin the Trailblazer Holly, who's going to the UFC. Kevin Holland remaining calm. As we go to find out the result of this fight. Ladies and gentlemen, at two minutes and four seconds into round number two, your winner by knockout, gentlemen, the Samoan Savage, Fati. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we spoke earlier. We had to make sure we got the name right. Jonathan, Jonathan yep. how are you feeling right now representing the Samoan culture, baby? You came in here, you faced a mountain of a man. This was not an easy, easy win. You went in, he pushed you, you pushed back. He pushed harder, you pushed even harder. And this is the win you represented. You came in, you did what you want to do. Talk to us about the fight. Uh, first and foremost, I just want to give the glory to Jesus Christ, my Savior. Um, I just want to give it up to God. Um, secondly, before I'm going to answer you, uh, I want to thank my team. Uh, turn right here. This is my big brother, man. Turn this way. Uh, 
Secondly, I just want to give a shout out to all my sponsors on this shirt. Uh, only missing one, Nijian uh, clothing line out in California. Um, so I want to thank all my sponsors, my team, my family, my friends, my loved ones. Um, what am I thinking right now? Uh, I'm thinking about food, man. Um, usually after my fight, I get to go have a date with my fine fiance back there. And uh, we just go out of town and uh, we go have a meal. But uh, I'm just thinking about my family right now. Uh, I see Kevin's over here, but I was told to shut my mouth, so I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to shut my mouth. Uh, be humble tonight. I'm sorry for the performance, but, hey, we came out on top. Thank you guys for coming, everybody. I appreciate you guys. Much love. Thank you, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, gentlemen, the Samoan Savage Party!